Hi, Cancer. This will happen in the next 48 hours for March the 1st through March the 2nd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for March the 1st through March the 2nd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for March the 1st through March the 2nd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for March the 1st through March the 2nd, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Cancer. So, Cancer, you have the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So, Cancer, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon. For cancer. Clarify the moon. For cancer. Clarify the moon. For cancer. It is clarified with the seven of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up and one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So listen, Cancer, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Now, Cancer, you can tell me a secret came out here about some type of mind games and manipulation. Something that you're finding out about, this person being manipulative. Or you're telling me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind. I don't know if you're secretly planning some type of revenge here. Could be secretly planning some type of revenge because of some type of secret that came out here you have the lovers could be dealing with a gemini but the lover says you know i breathe you in you breathe me in we are so magnetically attracted to one another we cannot get enough of one another babe i need to make a choice could be dealing with a gemini but you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull you can tell me there's another other lover but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business Clarify the lovers for cancer. Clarify the lovers for cancer. Clarify the lovers for cancer. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So cancer, new love, new start to love, or a blessing. Now you can tell me that you're pissed off because a secret came out about them having another other lover, a new love here. Or this is your revenge here, another lover, a new love here. Could also be dealing with a partnership with work or business and some type of new blessing here because you're pissed off concerning your employer here or something or some type of an agreement. Cancer, you have the Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. 
So Cancer, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Cancer. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Cancer. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Cancer, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Cancer, you can tell me that you guys got into a heated discussion or argument over this betrayal. You guys had this tit-for-tat tug of war toe-to-toe -to -toe over this betrayal, this secret. However, you can tell me this secret is that they were communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. They had another other lover here, and that's the betrayal. So I think you're pissed off and ready to return the favor here. Cancer, you have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. If I can't, sir. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. If I can't, sir. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. If I can't, sir. It is clarified with you, Cancer, the chariot. You're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. And this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So Cancer, this is you. Clarify the chariot for Cancer. Clarify the chariot for cancer. What about cancer? What about cancer? Clarify the chariot for cancer. It is clarified with the ace of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Cancer, you can tell me that you have, you guys are having this communication, yes. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity, yes. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using a sword to sever. I feel like because you have come into some truth and clarity, because you guys are having this tip for tat tug of war, toe to toe, back and forth, I feel like you're making a decision to use a sword to sever and go stagnant with this person because it calls you this sense of betrayal here. Cancer, you have the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences, or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Cancer. Clarify the Hierophant for Cancer. Clarify the Hierophant for Cancer. It is clarified with the Hierophant twice. Oh, boy. Clarify the Hierophant for Cancer. Clarify the Hierophant for Cancer. Clarify the Hierophant for Cancer. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. 
This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. You know, you can tell me that you guys had this heated discussion or argument and you guys has already established commitment and someone wants forgiveness. You can tell me that someone started a passionate new beginning and you guys has already established commitment. And again, they may want forgiveness here. But I feel like you're making a decision. Okay, you're pissed and you're making a decision to use this sword to sever. I hope because not out of spite or the fact that you're pissed off and you have some type of revenge, you may be forgiving somebody and maybe speaking of maybe going into some type of commitment with someone else, initiating a commitment with someone else because you're pissed at this person. Cancer, I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you. This is just additional messages here. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Cancer. And it says, focus, eyes for you, fascinated, watching. Focus, eyes for you, fascinated, watching. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Can I get some privacy? Heck no, not in this day and age. Heck no. Privacy policies, what? No. Nightlife, gamble, take a risk, Vegas. Nightlife, gamble, take a risk. Vegas. Okay. Ready to risk it all. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com. Cancer, this will happen in the next 48 hours for March the 1st through March the 2nd, 2024. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.